Hey, what is up everyone? Lord Pasta here, and today I just have a little game here to show you. It is called World History Simulator. The game itself is completely free to download, however it will ask you to donate, and I actually would highly recommend that you do do that. I didn't. I know, shame on me, but the game is very interesting, and as you can see, this is only version 0.3.2.1, so there will be more iterations of this, and I think there could be a really promising feature for this game. Right now, though, it seems very similar to Powder Toy, another game that I like to play in my free time a lot, but I should probably get into the specifics of what this game is actually about. This game is about simulating the entire history of a planet, and of a sentient life form on that planet. So as you can see, I've opened up the world generation menu, and there you can see I entered in a seed. There is also an option to use an, an image for a height map, but that doesn't really work as far as I can tell. But here we go, here's just a blank world, um, left over from my previous experiments, I turned it into a huge desert. Here I can raise the sea level, and I can see some green starting appearing on the map. Here I can change the terrain altitude, which sort of adjusts the difference in the altitude of the highest and the lowest places. That way we get some mountains, and we get some valleys, and we get some places where oceans can appear. Until we get something that looks like planet Earth, or some other type of habitable planet. We got some continents there, just adjusting the temperature. We got some polar ice caps. That's always good. You want your planet to have a variety of different ecosystems. That way, it's interesting to see your civilization spread across these ecosystems. So here we can see the population um, creator. You can click random location, or you can do it yourself, and just wherever you click will start. You can see. The population is indicated by these little red dots in each pixel, it spreads out. They invent things over there in the corner, and as they progress, their progression is displayed over there in the form of achievements. You can examine each individual pixel for a population count, but eventually, these nations will begin to appear. Each one has its own la language, its own culture, and its own leader. Um, it's very interesting, they each have their own philosophy too, but that's a bit complicated, I'm not going to go that in depth. There are many different options for viewing, you can view the biomes, which is the default, you can view coastlines, like that, you can also look around the map. There's also a globe view, which you can access in the upper right hand corner, or you can go into the elevation map, which is also useful. Take a look around. All these nations sort of fill up all the available space. And here we go. Uh, sometimes you get these errors that occur. Um, and I assume that it's just simply from the early state of this game. I do have my fingers crossed that this game will be promising in the future. Anyways, I've been Lord Pasta. I hope you check this out. Goodbye.